So you think you've done your side of the business. Um, what other technical holdups could there be to this, uh, you know, besides the bulk sampling component? What else is holding you back? It's just, uh, it's really nothing. It's just that, you know, for the mill to get their permit or their permission to process, which they, they've, you know, told me by mid-September they should have that. And then we can start processing. I, I think it's really getting the various groups together and, and, and closing, uh, you know, closing what we're, what we're setting out to do. Okay. But, you know, that's, that's how I see it right now. Nice and simple. Technical, who knows? You know, I mean, something can always come up. When it comes up, then we'll deal with it. But at this point, there's nothing that, uh, that uh, keeps me up at night except trying to get all this put together. Okay, okay. And what sort of number do you think you're going to need for a partner to be able to bring in for you to take this project forward as you've been trying to for the last several yeah, years? We, we, you know, we think, you know, a, a conservative number is probably between 20 and $30 million dollars. Um, to take it through and also start developing some of those other resources. That's really where we want to head. Um, again, there's interesting things going on right now, and uh, I'm looking forward to be on the next segment in a few months' time, uh, giving you the update. Okay, well, no, we'd appreciate that. We'd always, always appreciate a phone call. And um, what's your take on? I mean, obviously, the gold market is going nuts. So, you know, the, the, yeah. the price broke two thousand. I think even for you know. Um, you know, that, I mean, that, that, that hasn't been anything like it since 2011 and 2000, really, uh, you know, inflation adjusted numbers. Um, but what happens in November if Trump doesn't win? What's that going to do for you? Um, what's that going to do for us? Hmm. I, I, I think things are going to stay the same. I think, you know, I think you're still going to see, a, 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 you know, the price of gold is still going to be high. Where is it going to be? I, I, I can't predict where the price of gold is going to be, but I, I think it's going to stay well above what, we put out in our PFS, which was 1200 US, 80 cent exchange rate. I mean, you know, when we talked, it was 2000 Canadian. Now we're almost 2700 Canadian. So, I mean, it's not rocket science just to put, put some numbers to that, right? But again, as I said earlier, I want to come back when we've done completed, a, you know, completed the bulk sample, update the resource and give you all that information and tie in these updated gold prices and, you know, just send it home, right? And that's that's really what, well, I've been trying to do this for a couple of years now. We've had some delays and we go back and look at the April reasons why, but I can't look back, I can only look forward. Do you think, um, in terms of, I mean, you've got refractory gold down there and they, we've talked about that again in great detail in yep. the last yep. interview. Do you, and you told me that you guys think you've kind of cracked that. You don't think mm -hmm. that that's gonna be a problem going forward. Are you still very sure of that? Yeah, no, the, all the test work that was done, um, it shows a, a great flotation, you know, good recoveries. And again, as I, as I talked about back in April, there's a lot of refractory gold in the Timmins in northwestern Quebec camp, right? And, and a lot of the different companies are looking at it, including you know, Cisco's got some, you know, uh, uh, Newmont, which is the old gold corp, and Timmins has it, uh, Pan American, which is the old lake. There's refractory gold all over the camp. Again, they've all been focused on the low hanging fruit. Unfortunately, our low hanging fruit's not as low as theirs and we had a little more work to do. But, you know, we're demonstrating that it's possible. Um, and, I, you know, it's gonna be a matter of time before, it's not if it's gonna happen, it's just time that they're all gonna jump in and you're gonna see more and more refractory gold being processed up in this part of the room. We just happen to be one of the first ones, at least with the, the, the entire deposit is refractory. Some of them had refractory, non-refractory, they would avoid it. In our case, we I can't avoid it. It's, it's staring me in the face, right? So that's been double challenge, right? You know, and I and I always ask others that are, I believe, that are smarter than me and have been around and who've run gold companies, what have I done wrong? They say, you haven't done anything wrong. You've had the hiccups. It is what it is, you gotta move on. Right?